What is up heroes, this is Minade Zero, and welcome to week five of the CFL. This week we are going up against James Coach of the New England Nihiligos, who honestly, in my opinion, has the scariest team in the entire league. Probably the best team, if I really had to say. In fact, it's so good that this was actually one of my original draft plans. The very first three Pokemon you can see on his team, Dracovish, Volcarona, and Pelipper, were the exact three Pokemon I intended to draft originally. I know, odd that it's more offensive than typical, but this is James. Uh, he is currently 3-1 and one as well, so this will be a match to basically determine first place in the league currently. He has an incredibly strong offensive rain team with a great defensive core. You can see Dracovish, which is obviously a monster in and of itself, just clicking Ficious Rend over and over, though he admittedly hasn't brought it to too many games. Then there's Volcarona, which is just an incredibly intimidating uh, set of sweeper. It clicks Quiver Dance once, and it can absolutely obliterate teams. I'm going for really good coverage moves, um, especially in the rain. It has access to Hurricane and Psychic. Bug Buzz, uh, Flamethrower, or Fiery Dance. Um, Fire Dance obviously sacrifices a little bit of damage output with a, however, uh, you get a good chance of getting a plus one special attack raise afterwards. So yeah, Volcarona is super scary. It has good uh, typing and now that it has access to heavy duty boots, it's nowhere near as weak to Stealth Rock as it once was. And yeah, it's got decent, decent bulk as well, especially on the Spideff side of things and it gets bulkier on that spit F side as it quiver dances. Uh, it can run substitute, it also has reliable recovery and roost. So this Pokemon is so scary. Those first two Pokemon, literally, uh, they, they give nightmares. But anyways, Pelipper is a good Pokemon. It's only really given credit for starting the rain, which in and of itself is scary, but you know, Pelipper is not a bad Pokemon. In the rain, it can fire off some pretty strong Scalds, Hydro Pumps, uh, Hurricanes, both of which are Stab, and then Hurricane is obviously 100% accurate in the rain. It can get momentum with U-Turn, Reliable Recovery, and Roost, and of course, Defog uh, for Hazard Control. So, Pelipper is in and of itself a Pokemon I can't sleep on. Chansey! <laughs> Chansey. <laughs> Chansey is the Pokemon. Uh, another Pokemon that I wanted to draft, I ended up with Blissey, and I've been happy with Blissey, admittedly. Um, but Chansey is an incredible, bulky Pokemon. It is weak to knock off in that it relies on its Aviolite for a lot of its bulk. But it's a great Wish Teleport, um, you know, Health Passer. And it can also get up, you know, Stealth Rock, it can Seismic Toss. It has, you know, the same, same old coverage as Blissey, although it doesn't have as good of a special attack stat to take advantage of those special coverage moves. But great support, Pokemon. Beriscuta, base 123 attack, and with a blazing 136 base speed, you can almost always afford to go adamant, and when you put a life orb on it in the rain, those liquidations are hurting really bad. It can also have great coverage in terms of close combat, psychic fangs, and the crunch, so there's not a lot to really do on a defensive standpoint um, to handle this Pokemon, unfortunately. It also has priority in Aqua Jet. Next up is Gardevoir, which is pretty cool, uh, mostly due to Trace. Uh, you can copy an opponent's ability, but it has a decent speed tier and great offensive coverage with Stab Moonblast as well as Psychic. It also gets Focus Blast for Steel types, and it gets access to some um, bulky uh, setup type moves like Calm Mind. So, definitely a good Pokemon, great choice Scarf user. Uh, Bronzong is a Pokemon that I have loved using in the past. Another Pokemon I was planning on drafting that James got to first, unfortunately. Uh, it's a great Stealth Rock setter. It can set up Trick Room if you like. It can set up Future Damage with Future Sight. It can Toxic Things. Uh, great typing, two great abilities in Levitate and Heat Proof, making you either immune to ground type attacks or um, having the damage from super effective fire type attacks, which, of course, um, this thing also benefits from being in the rain to cover up for that weakness as well. So, great, uh, great typing, great coverage, and yeah, um, great mixed defenses as well. Can even potentially set up sweep too. Next up is Alolan Muck, um, another great defensive pivot. Sponges uh, hits really well, and it is also a great knockoff user. It can also spread poison really well, given its ability Poison Touch, um, increasing the chance that on any contact move Muck goes for, the opponent gets poisoned which is in and of itself scary, and always, um, as always, you know, Stab Knockoff is a good option. It also gets decent coverage and stuff like Fire Punch and I think Thunder Punch, maybe even Ice Punch. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's got a lot going for it. 
can set up with Curse and it's good, good Pokemon. Unfortunately, it doesn't have Pursuit anymore. Next up is Surfetched, which is really strong with a base 135 attack and access to some really strong moves like Close Combat, Brave Bird, and First Impression. Uh, I think it also gets Drill Run potentially. It also has Scrappy, so it can even hit Ghost types with uh, that Close Combat. And I think the main thing I'm worried about is uh, the priority with First Impression and um, knowing some of the Pokemon on my team. Next up is Ludicolo. Really great uh, rain abuser. Swift Swim, meaning its speed is doubled. Rain boosted Hydro Pumps, coverage move with Ice Beam, and then Giga Drain as well. Uh, put a Life Orb on it, and it just hits really hard. It's kind of it's kind of all there is to it. Next up is Palisand. A great, uh, I guess, another Stealth Rocker. Rapid Spin Immunity. Um, Really bulky, both on the defense and the special side of things. It's got a decent HP stat. And um, Reliable Recovery in Shore Up, which I think is even more potent in the rain. So there's that. Uh, decent special attack as well to attack with stuff like Scorching Sands, Earth Power, or Shadow Ball. And yeah, um, it's a good fighting, normal, and electric immunity. Speaking of electric immunities, uh, last Pokemon is Arctazolt, which... Uh, has the ability Volts Absorb, and has great coverage both on the special and the physical side of things. Low Kick, um, Freeze Dry, Icicle Crash, uh, Bolt Beak, which is super scary because its power doubles. Uh, if it goes before the opponent, it is a slow Pokemon, but a lot of my Pokemon are slow. And if my Pokemon have to switch, um, its power is doubled as well. So, yeah, um, his team is really scary. Like I said, I think it's probably the best team in the league at the moment, and um, it was really difficult to prep for. It was really difficult. So, here's the team. Um, we have Rillaboom, Heliolisk, Blissey, Toxifex, Ditto, and Pharaoh Seed of all things. Uh, the first Pokemon I chose was Rillaboom because it does so well against his team. Uh, the only Pokemon it doesn't do decently against is Volcarona. But aside from that, at plus two, Grassy Glide puts in so much work. And then Knock Off is great for getting rid of items on anything that wants to come in, um, as well as hitting Bronzong. Drain Punch is excellent for getting HP back from stuff like Chansey, or Bronzong, or um, Alolan Muk, or Arctazolt. So, yeah, um, it's really helpful. And with the Life Orb, I'm doing so much damage. I just need the opportunity to set up. This is really my, my winning Pokemon. This is my trump card here. I don't think I can win this match if I don't have Rillaboom Sweeping. So, We'll need to play really carefully with uh, Rillaboom. Next up is Heliolisk. I needed a water immunity. When going against a team that's like, you know, so heavily rain-based, uh, whether it's Ludicolo or Dracovish, um, it's really important to have a water immunity. And that's exactly what Heliolisk is. It gets me some momentum with Volt Switch, which is really nice in, if, in the rain. It has 100% accurate thunders, which hit really hard with a life orb. Hyper Voice is there for a stab move that kind of hits uh, more things, generally speaking. And then um, Weather Ball is actually a really cool tech. I was thinking maybe Grass Knot for Palisand, but Weather Ball actually hits way harder, um, especially when it's in the rain, obviously. And it can also hit really hard um, when I don't want to risk going for Thunder with something like Arctazolt running around. So, yeah, um, it's fast enough to outspeed, I believe, Volcarona. Yeah, yeah. it's um, EV to outspeed Volcarona, and everything else went into HP to hit a Life Orb number, and the rest went into Spideff, because that's the only potential attack I've been, I plan on uh, taking if necessary. Next up is Blissey. Um, Blissey is an absolute necessity on a team going against Volcarona. Uh, what's kind of nice about his team is that his Pokemon are very much either physical attackers or special attackers. And of his special attackers, mainly Ludicolo and Volcarona and Pelipper, um, Blissey handles them pretty well. I can Seismic Toss to break any substitutes, especially on, from Volcarona, Toxic to whittle things away, and um, set rocks. So that's pretty much what Blissey is doing here. Toxapex. So the, the main thing that stands out here is Liquidation. Um, it's just more effective against Volcarona, which has a weaker defense, and then obviously boosts its special defense with Quiver Dance. So Liquidation is more reliable for 2-hit KOing that, um, which will be really nice. And other than that, <laughs> the main things are Toxic. Uh, I just want to Toxic like everything with Blissey or Toxifex. 
Um, whatever's switching in, I want to make sure I'm whittling away at things, whether that's with hazards, whether that's with poison, to put them in range of um, plus two Bronzong's attacks. And then knockoff, much similar, or very similarly, um, anything that comes in, whether it's Dracovish, Volcarona, uh, Barrascuta, I want to knock off their items, get rid of their life orbs, their choice bands, whatever it may be, their damp rocks, um, in order to limit their damage output to give my walls a chance of standing up to them. And then we have Ditto. Ditto is excellent in this matchup just because James's team is so good. Uh, Ditto has a lot of potential to reverse sweep or set up rocks or um, to prevent a Volcarona sweep if I'm able to get it low enough that I can bring in Ditto and just fire back at it. Um, I can potentially use Dracovish to threaten his own team because he does not have a water immunity. So yeah, um, as usual, Ditto is helpful for scouting information as well, just to see like what coverage moves are being run on some of these Pokemon, though most of his team has pretty set move sets. There's not a ton of variety. I would be more interested in the Volcarona set, um, the Alolan Muck maybe, and the Arctozole. And then lastly is Ferroseed. I very strongly um, debated Umbreon or Halucha, and I was really liking Halucha, but not seeing any good opportunities to really set up. But it would it obviously could put in work, um, but it is difficult with a Barrascuta that could outspeed it, and um, a lot of Pokemon that just would kill it if it tried to set up, and I got the 50-50 wrong. So it was kind of difficult to bring that. Umbreon is really nice for a Psychic immunity, uh, meaning that if Dracovish is choice locked, it has to choose between something like, well, it would have to choose between the Psychic move or the Water move um, if it's going to worry about hitting one of my Pokemon like Toxapex um, super effectively, but also have to worry about uh, running into one of my immunities. But I ended up choosing Pharaoh Seed just to help out with Dracovish really, um, and Barrascuta. I mean, it gets a little bit of chip with the Rough Skin or the Iron Barbs damage. But um, the main thing is, it takes so little from so many of the non, oh, of, I guess uh, most of Dracovish's attacks and can get a little bit of health back with Leech Seed, can do a little bit of chip that way, um, can set up spikes to again contribute to more chip damage over time. But that's really why this thing is here, is just to kind of help out a little bit with some of the physical coverage against Barrascuta, Bronzong, Alolan Muck, and chip away at things little by little. This is also relatively helpful for Arctozolt, um, who can't do a whole bunch to it. And um, I can knock off its item, I can Leech Seed, whatever, set up on it. So, yeah, um, that's the team. Uh, James' team is incredibly scary, so wish me luck. I am going to try my best with this team. I feel like I say this every week, but I don't really like it a lot. And it's going to require some expert play, I think, in order to maneuver around so many of James' threats. But the plan is going to be to set up hazards, toxic things, knock off items, hopefully put things in range of plus two Rillaboom and sweep that way. But we all know that things never go according to plan. So we'll see what we have to improvise uh, in the match. But until then, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.